Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio. Welcome to the fourth tutorial of the 3D low poly game modeling for beginners series. In this tutorial, we'll be modeling a low poly medieval house. Go ahead and change the renderer to Cycles Render. Go into Orthographic View, which is 5 on the numpad, and Front View, which is 1 on the numpad. Make sure your cube is selected and move the cube up one blender unit G Z 1 tab into edit mode now let's scale the cube along the X axis S X 4 go into top view which is 7 on the numpad scale the cube along the Y axis S Y 6 then go back into front view which is 1 on the numpad and go into face mode using control tab select the top face of the cube and move it along the Z axis to blender units make a copy of the top face using shift D Go into top view, which is 7 on the numpad. And scale the face along the X axis, SX 1.1. And then scale it along the Y axis, SY 1.1. Then go into front view, which is 1 on the numpad. Then extrude the face along the Z axis, E2. Make another copy of the top face using Shift D. And extrude this along the Z axis, E4. Go into top view, which is 7 on the numpad and go into edge mode using control tab select the right edge and shift select the left edge go into front view which is one on the numpad and scale the edges along the X axis S X point one deselect everything with your A key Go into face mode using control tab and select all three sections of the roof. Extrude all three parts of the roof E 0.2. Deselect everything with your A key. Select the lower right edge of the roof and extrude along the X axis E X point five then use the manipulator to move the extrusion along the Z axis to match the slope of the roof select the lower left edge of the roof line and extrude this along the x-axis E X negative 0.5 and again use the manipulator move it along the z-axis to match the roof line select the front faces of the roof and go into the right side view which is 3 on the numpad and extrude the faces along the y-axis E Y negative point two then select the back faces of the roof and go into the right side view which is three on the numpad and extrude the faces along the y-axis E Y point two 
and go into the front view, which is one on the numpad. Add a cube with Shift A. Then move it up one blender unit, G, Z, one. And use the manipulator to move the cube along the X axis so it's visible. Scale the cube along the X axis, S, X, 0.15. Go into the right side view, which is 3 on the numpad. Scale the cube along the y axis, S, Y, 0.15. Then use the manipulator and move the cube along the y axis so it is in front of the house. And go into front view, which is 1 on the numpad. And Use the manipulator and move the cube along the x-axis till it meets the right corner of the house. Then select the top face of the cube and move it up along the z-axis until it meets the bottom edge of the overhanging section of the house. Go into the right side view, which is 3 on the numpad. Select the entire cube with L. Duplicate the cube with Shift D. Then go back into front view, which is one on the numpad. And move the duplicated cube to the left corner of the house. Add a cube with Shift A. And move it up one blender unit, G. Z, 1. Go into the right side view, which is 3 on the numpad. And use the manipulator, move it along the Y axis so it's visible in front of the house. Scale the cube along the Y axis, S, Y, 0.3. Then go into front view, which is 1 on the numpad. Select the top face of the cube and move it up along the z-axis about a half a blender unit. Then go into edge mode with control tab. Then using control R add four horizontal loop cuts to the cube. Then go into face mode with control tab and wireframe mode, which is Z. Select the top middle face of the cube and move it up along the Z axis about three tenths of a blender unit. Then go into solid mode, which is Z, and edge mode with control tab. Then select the two inner edges on either side of the middle face. Then go back into wireframe mode with Z, and move the edges up along the Z axis about two tenths of a blender unit. Then select the entire cube by hitting L and go into the right side view, which is 3 on the numpad. Then use the manipulator and move the doorway along the Y axis so the front faces are about 2 tenths of a blender unit in front of the house. And go into front view, which is one on the numpad, and face mode with control tab, and back into solid mode with Z. Then select the front faces and inset them. I point one. Then go into the right side view, which is three on the numpad, and wireframe, which is Z. 
and extrude the faces along the y-axis, E, Y, 0.15. Then go back and do solid mode, which is Z, and front view, which is 1 on the numpad. And deselect everything with your A key. Add a cube using Shift A, and move it up one blender unit, G, Z, 1. Go into the right side view, which is 3 on the numpad. And use the manipulator and move the cube along the y-axis so it's visible in front of the house. Scale the cube along the y-axis, S, Y, 0 0.03. Go back into front view, which is 1 on the numpad. Scale the cube along the x-axis, S, X, 0.19. Then go back into the right side view, 3 on the numpad, and wireframe mode, which is Z. Then use the manipulator and move the cube along the Y axis so it's visible in front of the door but inside the frame. Then go into solid mode, which is Z, and front view, which is 1 on the numpad. Then select the top face of the cube. And move it along the z-axis so it's tall enough to fit inside the door frame. Select the entire cube using L. Make a duplicate with Shift D. And move the duplicate to the right of the original cube, leaving a small gap in between. Then repeat this process until you have all five door panels. Then go into edge mode with control tab. And select and move the individual top edges so they're within the door frame. Add a cube with Shift A, move it up one blender unit, G, Z, 1. Go into the right side view, 3 on the numpad, and use the manipulator and move the cube along the Y axis so it's visible in front of the house. Scale the cube along the Y axis, S, Y, 0.02. Go into front view, which is 1 on the numpad. Scale the cube along the x-axis, S, X, 0.4. And scale the cube along the z-axis, S, Z, 0.2. Go into face mode with control tab. And select the right face of the cube. Scale the face along the z-axis, S, Z, 0.1. Then select the entire cube with your L key. Go into the right side view, which is 3 on the numpad, and wireframe, which is Z. Then move the hinge along the y-axis using the manipulator. So it's in front of the door, but on top of the door panels that we just made. Then go into solid mode, which is Z, and front view, which is 1. And move the hinge to the left side of the door and the upper half of the door. And 
make sure it is sitting properly. Then make a duplicate of the hinge with Shift D and move the duplicated hinge to the lower half of the door frame. Add a cube with Shift A and move it up along the Z axis one blender unit. G, Z, one. Then go into the right side view, which is three on the numpad. And use the manipulator and move the cube along the Y axis so it's visible in front of the house. Scale the cube along the Y axis, S, Y, 0 0.05. Then go into front view, one on the numpad. Scale the cube along the X axis, S, X, 0 0.07. Then scale the face along the Z axis, S, Z, 0.3. Then select the top face of the handle. And extrude it along the Z axis, E, 0.1. Then select the bottom face. And extrude it along the Z axis. E point one. Then select the back faces of these two extruded parts. Go into the right side view, which is three on the numpad, and extrude the faces along the Y axis. E Y point one. Then select the entire handle with your L key and go into wireframe mode, which is Z. Then use the manipulator and move it along the Y axis so it's visible and in front of the door on top of the door panels. Go into solid mode, which is Z, and front view, which is one on the numpad. Then move the handle to the right side of the door inside the door frame. Add a cube using Shift A. Move it up one blender unit, G, Z, one. Go into the right side view, which is three on the numpad. Scale the cube along the Y axis, S, Y, 6.5. Go into the front view, which is one on the numpad. Scale the cube along the X axis, S, X, 0.5. And scale the cube along the Z axis, S, Z, 0.3. Then move the cube along the Z axis so it's touching the bottom edge of the overhanging section of the house. Then duplicate the cube using Shift D and move it to the right of the cube. Then repeat this process until you have five cubes evenly spaced. Then select all five cubes with your L key and duplicate them using Shift D. Then rotate the duplicates around the Z axis 90 degrees. R, Z, 90. Then scale the cubes along the X axis. S, X, 0.67. And go into the right side view, which is three on the numpad. Then select each of the cubes and space them evenly, leaving the middle one in the center.
and go into front view which is one on the numpad add a cube with shift A and move the cube up one blender unit G Z one go into the right side view which is three on the numpad and use the manipulator and move the cube along the y-axis so it's visible in front of the house scale the cube along the y-axis s y point one go into front view which is one on the numpad scale the cube along the x-axis s x point three Then select the top face of the cube and move it up along the z-axis until it meets the bottom side of the overhanging section. Select the entire cube with your L key and then move it along the x-axis to the front right side of the house. Go into the right side view, which is 3 on the numpad. Move the cube along the y axis so it's flush against the house. Go into front view, which is 1 on the numpad. Duplicate the cube using Shift D. Then rotate the duplicate around the z axis 90 degrees. R, Z, 90. And then move the cube along the x-axis so it's flush against the corner of the house. Go into the right side view, which is 3 on the numpad. And move the cube along the y-axis so it's flush against the corner of the house. And select both of these cubes using your L key and duplicating them using Shift D. Then go into front view, which is one on the numpad, and rotate the corner pieces around the z axis negative 90 degrees. R, Z, negative 90. Then move the duplicates so they're flush against the left side of the house. Now select all of four of the corner pieces using your L key. And duplicate them using Shift D. Then rotate the corner pieces around the Z axis 180 degrees. R, Z, 180. Then move the duplicates so they're flush against the back corners of the house. Then go into front view, which is one on the numpad. Add a cube with shift A. Move it up one blender unit, G, Z, one. Go into the right side view, which is 3 on the numpad. And then use the manipulator and move the cube along the y axis so it's visible in front of the house. Scale the cube on the y axis, S, Y, point 2. Go into front view, which is 1 on the numpad. Then select the front face of the cube and inset it. I point one. Go into the right side view, which is three on the numpad, and wireframe move, which is Z, and extrude the face along the Y axis, E Y point two. Go into solid move with Z, and front view, which is one on the numpad and select the entire window with your L key 
and move it up along the z-axis to the upper part of the house. Scale the window along the x-axis, s, x, 1.5. And scale the window along the z-axis, s, z, 1.5. Then move the cube up along the z-axis until it's centered in the upper part of the house. Then deselect everything with your A key. Add a cube using Shift A. Move it up one blender unit, G, Z, 1. Go into the right side view, which is the 3 on the numpad, and use the manipulator to move the cube along the y-axis so it's visible in front of the house. Scale the cube along the y-axis, S, Y, 0 0.05. Go into front view, which is a 1 on the numpad. Scale the cube along the x-axis. S, X, point one, and then move the cube along the Z axis so it's centered over the window. Then scale the cube along the Z axis, S, Z, two. Go into the right side view, which is three on the numpad and wireframe which is Z and then move the cube along the y-axis so it's inside the window frame go into front view which is one on the numpad and solid mode which is Z rotate the cube around the y-axis negative 45 degrees R Y minus 45 then duplicate the cube with shift D use the manipulator and move the duplicate along the Z axis then duplicate this cube with shift D and move it along the z-axis then select the top faces of each of the duplicates and move them with your G key so they're inside the window frame Then select these top two cubes with your L key and duplicate them using Shift D and rotate them around the Y axis 180 degrees R Y 180 then use the manipulator and move them to the lower part of the window frame Now select all five of the window slats using your L key and duplicate them using Shift D. Rotate the duplicates around the Y axis 90 degrees, R, Y, 90. Then select all the window slats and the window frame using your L key. Go into the right side view, which is 3 on the numpad, and wireframe mode, which is Z. Then move the window along the Y axis so the back of the slats are flush against the house.
then go into front view which is one on the numpad and solid mode which is Z make sure you have the entire window selected and duplicate it using shift D then rotate the duplicate around the Z axis 90 degrees R Z 90 then go into the right side view which is 3 on the numpad and use the manipulator to move the window to the lower part of the house resize the window S.6 then go into top view which is 7 on the numpad and wireframe which is Z and use the manipulator and move the window along the x-axis until the back of the slats are flush against the house then go into the right side view which is 3 on the numpad and duplicate the window using shift D and move the duplicate to the right and center it then go back into solid mode with Z select both windows with your L key duplicate them with shift D go to the front view which is one on the numpad and rotate the duplicates 180 degrees around the Z axis R Z 180 then move the duplicates to the left side of the house making them flush to the side of the house then deselect everything with your A key add a cube with shift A and move it up one blender unit G Z 1 go into the right side view which is 3 on the numpad and use the manipulator and move the cube along the Y axis so it's visible in front of the house scale the cube along the Y axis S Y point one go into front view which is one on the numpad scale the cube along the x-axis s x point two then use the manipulator and move the cube along the z-axis until it meets the roof go into the right side view which is 3 on the numpad and wireframe which is Z then move the cube along the Y axis until it's flush with the window then duplicate the cube using shift D and move the duplicate below the window then resize the duplicate along the Z axis S Z point five and move the cube until it sits flush with the bottom of the window now go into front view which is one on the numpad and solid mode which is Z and if things are not lining up we need to move the cube that we have selected and the window down so the top of this window is sitting against the bottom of this cube
So make your selections with your L key. And then adjust where everything is sitting. Now duplicate this bottom cube with Shift D and rotate it around the Y axis 90 degrees. R, Y, 90. Then move the duplicate so it's flush against the bottom of the upper part of the house. Then scale this horizontal cube along the X axis. S, X, 9. Then duplicate this horizontal cube with Shift D and go into the right side view, which is 3 on the numpad. Then move the duplicated cube to the back of the house until it's flush with the upper part of the house. Then duplicate the cube using Shift D and rotate the duplicate around the Z axis 90 degrees. R, Z, 90. Then go to the back view, which is control and one on the numpad. And use the manipulator and move the duplicate along the X axis until it is flush with the rear horizontal cube. Then go into the right side view, which is 3 on the numpad, and center the duplicated cube. Then scale the cube along the Y axis, S, Y, 1.5. Then go into front view, which is 1 on the numpad, and duplicate the cube using Shift D. Then move it along the x-axis to the left side of the house until it's flush with the front horizontal cube. Then deselect everything with your A key. Then select the cube at the bottom center of the window with your L key. And duplicate it using Shift D. Then move the duplicate to the right corner of the window. Then duplicate this cube using Shift D and move it to the left side of the window. Deselect everything with your A key. And select the horizontal cube with your L key. Duplicate the cube with Shift D and move it above the window. Then scale the duplicated cube along the x-axis, S, X, 0.45, and go into edge mode with control tab. Then select the bottom right edge of the cube and move it along the x-axis until it meets the roof line. And then select the bottom left edge of the cube and move it along the x-axis until it meets the roof line. Then go into face mode using control tab. Select the horizontal cube with your L key and duplicate it using shift D. Scale the duplicate along the X axis, S, X, 0.4. Then rotate the duplicated cube around the Y axis 45 degrees, R, Y, 45. Then use the manipulator and move the duplicate until it is between the roof line and the horizontal cube.
Then duplicate this angled cube using Shift D and rotate it around the Y axis 90 degrees. R, Y, 90. Then use a manipulator and move it so it is between the roof line and the horizontal cube. Select both angled cubes with your L key and the two cubes above the window with your L key and duplicate them with Shift D. Go into right side view, which is three on the numpad and move the duplicated cubes so they're flush with the back of the house. Then deselect everything with your A key. Go to the back view using control and one on the numpad. Then select the bottom face of the vertical cube Then move it down along the z-axis until it's flush with the bottom horizontal cube. Then deselect everything with your A key. Go into the right side view, which is 3 on the numpad, and select the horizontal cube with your L key. Duplicate the cube with Shift D and then move the duplicate down along the z-axis until it's flush with the bottom of the house. Go into top view and wireframe, which is Z. Make sure that it is flush against the house. Go back into solid mode, which is Z and the right side view, which is 3. Then select the right face and move it along the y-axis so it sits behind the corner pieces. Then select the left face, move it along the y-axis until it fits behind the corner pieces. Now select the bottom horizontal cube with your L key and duplicate it using Shift D. Go into top view which is 7 on the numpad and wireframe move which is Z and move the duplicated cube to the opposite side of the house. Then go back into solid mode, which is Z. Then go to the back view, which is control and one on the numpad. Deselect everything with your A key. Select your horizontal cube with your L key and duplicate it with Shift D. Then move it to the bottom of the house so it's flush against the bottom. Then select the right face and move it along the X axis until it's behind the corner piece. Then select the left face and move it along the x-axis until it's behind the corner piece. Then go into top view, which is 7 on the numpad, and wireframe, which is Z. Select the entire cube and make sure it's flush against the house.
then go back into solid mode which is Z and right side view which is 3 on the numpad duplicate the cube with shift D and move it along the Y axis so it's flush against the front of the house Then go into front view, which is one on the numpad. And move it along the x-axis so it is touching the left side of the corner cubes. Then select the right face of the cube. And move it along the x-axis until it is on the left side of the door. Then select the entire cube with your L key and duplicate it with Shift D and move it to the other side of the door. Add a cube using Shift A. Move the cube up one blender unit, G, Z, 1. Then use a manipulator and move the cube along the X axis so it's visible. Scale the cube along the x-axis, S, X, 0.6. Go into the right side view, which is 3 on the numpad. Scale the cube along the y-axis, S, Y, 0.6. Then use a manipulator and move the cube up along the z-axis until it's about half of a blender unit above the roof. Then use the manipulator and move the chimney to the rear section of the roof. Select the top face of the chimney and duplicate it with Shift D. Go into top view which is 7 on the numpad. And scale the duplicated face S 1.3. Then go into the right side view, which is 3 on the numpad. Extrude the face along the Z axis, E.4. Go into top view, which is 7 on the numpad. And inset the top face, I.2. Then go into the right side view, which is 3 on the numpad and wireframe mode which is Z and extrude the face along the Z axis E negative 0.2 then go back into solid mode which is Z then select both parts of the chimney with your L key and go into the back view which is control and 1 on the numpad and move the chimney along the x-axis until it is in the roof line. Now open the material tab. Click on the plus button and the new button and change the name of the material to roof Then change the color to a very dark gray. I'm going to use the hex code of 1D, 1D, 1D. Then select the top of the roof. And assign the roof material. And click on the plus button and the new button and rename the material metal then change the color to a dark gray 
I'm going to use the hex code of 636363. Then select the door hinges and the handle. And assign the metal material. Click on the plus button and the new button and rename the material stone. and change the color to a gray. I'm going to use a hex code of 747474. Then select the chimney and the bottom of the house. And assign the stone material. Click on the plus button and the new button and rename the material wood. Then change the color to a brown. I'm using the hex code of 90451A. Then select the remainder of the house except the walls and then assign the wood color to it. Now click on the plus button and the new button and rename the material wall. Then change the color to a cream color. I'm using the hex code of DCE0C0. Then select the remainder of the house and assign the wall material. Okay, and there you have your very simple, low-poly medieval house. I hope you found this useful. Have a good day.